I bought this thing about five years ago and I haven't used it for anything yet and so like when I pull it out it's like it's still got ample voltage on the cells but I'm thinking about well, I don't got nothing to charge this up so I just look around for a few parts and that's how I came up with the idea for the LM723 since it's a precision regulator it'll do a fine job of controlling those transistors during a heavy current output like I say you can change the resistors in it and this command get it up to about 6.2 amps and um, but at that point probably be the limit for it I would think so I thought it'd work on this project right here since this is something easy it's not switching there's no transformer you don't have to wind nothing just hook up some resistors and solder in this one IC now it's built around the LM723 which is a precision regulator actually a very good chip has had its own voltage reference on it so you can use that um, basically I'm going to put a schematic on the screen here in just a moment but I'll just talk about this a little bit here what this is for this is a headway charger or actually you can charge any lipo with it or lithium ion or A123's it's fully adjustable the voltage so you can set it to whatever you want it has a coarse setting and then a real fine setting so you can get it right down to the millivolt perfect right there so the 723 it just simply drives these two tip uh, NPN transistors I, I believe they're Darlington so it makes a nice easy load on this chip and uh, all we do is put these resistors in here to uh, make sure that the transistors share the current and this is the current sensing resistor right here for the LM723 and then it's set to about 4, four amps basically 4.1 and so this is to charge up your headway cells. If you bought them just from the store right now, you can actually put this on and it'll have it every one charged up in an hour per battery. Now you can adjust the current so it charges more than 4 amps by lowering this down to a 0.1. But then you got to put 0.23 watts in here, 0.23 watt, and probably a 7 watt for a 0.1 in there so that you don't overheat if you want to make that decision to do that. That'll get you about 6 amps or a little more out of it. So what this is, is this is just simply a microprocessor a heatsink from a computer that has a fan on the older units. You can still buy these on eBay. And all I did was just drill two holes in here, smaller than these, these screws. And I didn't even have a tap set. I just put these screws in there. I slowly turned them in and out with a little bit of oil and tapped threads all the way through because steel is harder than aluminum so you should be able to go through it just took a little bit of time and that was it now this is a heat sink that's got threaded holes in it where I can put in these little 440 screws in there the whole components on there and this thing does a great job at cooling in fact in this current configuration this thing barely gets warm it's like running at 105 degrees these, these chips right here so you could easily upgrade these in here which is what I'm going to do here since I ain't got nothing else to do Let's check it out. Referring to the schematic, this is your voltage adjustment right here, coarse and fine, 10K and 500 ohm pot. Those are 20 turn if you want precision adjustment down to the millivolt. It's a basic 723 regulator. It's hooked up all its normal way per spec on its spec sheet. All I did here on V out is I just took that and put that to two transistors. Now R1, R2, R3, and R4, those are simply to make these transistors share the current of whatever the total is. If it's four amps, that would be two amps each. If it was six amps, that would be three amps each. That helps them share the current. This is the current sensing resistor right here. For about four amps, it's 0.15. For about six amps, it's about a 0.1. Those would be the changes made. The cooler, can handle the extra heat dissipation that would be created by Q1 and Q2 so there's no problem with that being that it's only running at 105 degrees right now so we can work it up a little bit more and that's what we're going to do we're going to change this out and we're going to change these to 0.2 each 0.2 that's what we're going to do so I came up with some ideas to put down some battery holders so I could put several of these in there these A123's and just load it up all the way across holds like eight cells at once. It'll take it in the current configuration like about five hours to pump up eight cells at once. And that's the time limit on that. 
So if you put in 20 turn potentiometers, this is the result you can have. Fine adjustment. To test it, I gotta drain the battery a little bit so I can charge it. With the modification installed, we're doing 6 amps now. With the modifications in place, we're pumping a good 6 amps. I put all four cells in parallel. So this concludes the Headway Project, the High Power LiPo Charger. I want to thank you all for watching and remember we have a Patreon page where you can donate. Thank you.